Simple interest. When do you use it? How is it calculated? And is it commonly used by banks? Let's find out. Hey there, my name is Isabel and welcome to my channel. Let's talk simple interest. So when do you use it? Well, there are two different scenarios. One, when you put money in a savings account and they tell you that it'll be accumulating interest, usually it is simple interest. And the second scenario is when you're making a small-ish purchase that you have to pay off over a relatively short amount of time, like appliances, TVs, mattresses, cell phones, something like that. Now, this is always at the discretion of the lender, so it is your responsibility to find out what kind of interest you're paying or getting paid in the case of a savings account. Now, before we continue, I want to make a small disclaimer that I am not giving you financial advice, nor I have the authority to do so. Everything I show you in this video is for educational purposes only, and I encourage you to always do your own research before making any purchase. Now, how do we calculate simple interest? There is a formula where A is equal P times one plus RT, where P is the amount of the loan or the principal, R is the interest rate written as a decimal point, and T is the amount of time in years. So let's suppose that I buy a $2,000 set of washer and dryer, and with the appliance company, I get a payment plan for, let's say, 4% interest rate for two years. Chances are that this interest is simple interest. So we do some quick math, where A equals 2,000 times one plus 0 0.04 times two, which equals 2,000 times one plus 0 0.08, which is 2,000 times 1.08, which is 2,160. That means that I'm going to pay a total of $160 worth of interest. Now, if you want to know how much you'll pay per month, all you got to do is divide the 2160 by 24, which is about $90 per month. And if you want to practice some more, I left you a worksheet in the video description. However, for larger purchases like cars and houses, simple interest is rarely ever used, if at all. Instead, what banks normally do is they calculate interest by using a formula called amortization. And if you want to find out how amortization works, make sure to like this video, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and then check out my next video. See you there.